And what's up guys, Logan here. As most of y'all know, I actually live here in Houston and if you're looking at any kind of new station, you can see how there, we are getting a ton of rain here. Um, I do live on the golf course, uh, but as you can see right here, we have a big old drain ditch right here that goes right through the middle of our neighborhood. Usually you can't even see the water and here it is. It's slowly flowing still. Um, the second that it stops flowing, and it's just gonna start rising. Uh, but for the time being, it's still flowing little by little, so we're not in crazy amount of danger right now. But as soon as it stops, uh, we're probably going to be, my house is going to be flooded just a little bit. And I know I haven't even showed him off yet. This is my new German Shepherd, Thor. I've had him for a couple months. Uh, he's a cute little dog. Closer look right over here. Uh, you can see how the, yeah, the water is flowing just a little bit. But right over there, there is a road where you can uh, take that road. You get to the other side of the neighborhood. That's just a river going through right now. Now as far as flooding, um, about half my neighborhood does flood, um, the other half doesn't flood and I'm unlucky enough to be on the river side which is going to flood. But I do have one friend, he has a Corvette, he said where I can park my car over there um, just to stay out of any kind of floodwaters or anything like that. But yeah, this is, uh, is going to be a rough little week this next week. And the thing about my neighborhood is that yeah it floods, but it's not from just the rainwater. Yeah, there is a ton of water everywhere. but. My house wouldn't flood if it was just for the rain. How it's going to flood is when Lake Conroe, they're going to open up the dam over there. That's when the water's going to come downstream down the, down the San Jacinto River, and it's just going to rise and then flood my house probably. Um, last year it did flood when we got that thousand year flood, and I'm not looking forward to this year. Yeah, we do have flood insurance, but it's still just the headache of going through getting your house repaired which I have already checked, the San Jacinto River Authority, um, they are releasing the dam already, and they're releasing it at a rate of 2,600 uh, CFS, which is cubic feet per second, which is a crazy amount if you actually think about it. But yeah, the rain here in Houston is absolutely insane. Um, I'm sure y'all are watching the news, but yes, it is very bad. Um, it's just as bad as they're saying it is on the news. Actually, a constable just came here about 10 minutes ago, put those little barriers up so that it'll kind of deter people from going that way. Um, look at that, a big old limb fell in the middle of my, middle of my yard last night. Uh, luckily it didn't hit Bubba, but this is this is crazy. Hopefully it's not going to turn out as bad as they say it is, but with all this rain we're getting in such a short amount of time, it's hard to imagine it's not. You'll see that little van right here turning back here in about 10 seconds. And that little Tacoma. You'll see both of them coming back here in a second. There is no way at all either of those vehicles are going to get past that water. Um, it's probably a good 6 or 7 feet flowing um, at a pretty good pace, so they'll be back here in a second. Little white van going. Let's walk down here to the little crossing. Um, usually it just dips down about five feet. Uh, clearly it's flooded, but let's see how bad it's flooded right now. And here it is right here. Uh, totally impassable. Some constables, they actually put up the uh, little yellow tape over there. Not cool right now. And honestly, this really does suck because I just moved into this house not even like two months ago. Um, this is a really, really nice house, great community. And I mean, I just like the area. I mean, we have a pool, a little park right across the street, and it truly sucks that my house might get flooded. I mean, I'm not entirely sure if it will. Um, the water is rising pretty quick, and my house might get flooded. Yes, there's a strong possibility that it will. I mean, here it is raining even a little bit harder. <laughs> so I'll definitely be giving you all updates as it goes on, but this just really, really sucks. Yeah, I'm headed to my buddy's house now and drop off my car. He just lives in the front of the neighborhood, and honestly, this guy is really, really nice. Um, I'm part of the, this whole neighborhood, the whole community. They have their own Facebook group, which I joined it, and all I asked was um, a few weeks ago, was, you know, is, is there any cool cars or is there any car clubs or anything in this neighborhood? Just so I can get, you know, acquainted with other car members. And, yeah, this guy, he messaged me, um, said how, you know, he has a awesome yellow Corvette, and then yesterday I just got a message from him on Facebook saying that if I need any help anywhere to park my car or anything, how I can park it over there, which is a lifesaver considering that my house is most likely going to flood. And then even on top of that, my car is lowered. So this is a lifesaver and just shows kind of hospitality here in Texas. And what's going on guys? It's actually only been four hours since my last clip, but since then it has actually rained a little bit more. Um, as you can see, it's still raining, but look at this. Look how flooded this is, and it's only been four hours. Four hours ago, I was right over there. I mean, it, four hours ago, it hadn't have, it ha didn't uh, flood out of that little drain ditch yet. And I was right over there on that tree line. And as you can see, it's just a lake back here. I cannot believe how quickly it's risen. And this is absolutely insane. 
And this fairway over here is completely drenched. Over here, there's a little stream right over there. There's another little stream over here, feeding into this over here. And yeah, over here, I was walking over here when I was videotaping on my way back. And that's absolutely insane that it just ro that it rose that quick. I was expecting it to rise this much. I, I was expecting it to rise this much, but I was not expecting it to rise this quick. This is absolutely insane. But yeah, this really just goes to show you how crazy Harvey is. Um, he didn't really get a whole bunch of wind over here. The only thing we're getting is just drenched. We're getting just wave after wave of rain, and it's just really, really thick rain. We got a little bit of a break right now. Yeah, it's still raining and everything. But yeah, this rain is absolutely insane. And if we do get any uh, wind, that's going to be bad because is now that the ground's all saturated and everything, a little bit of wind knock these trees right over because the footing of the trees is all soft now. Yeah, and even as I walk through this grass right now, my feet are just sinking in. Um, there was actually one part of my yard I stepped. My foot went down about a foot. It was some, uh, some dirt right there, but it's just crazy how soft the ground is right now. Now, before I show you this next clip, just remember, four hours. It's only been four hours since I was over here last time, and the flood's risen this much, but look at this four hours ago. I was way over there near that bridge. You can't even see the bridge now. It just looks like a river going that way. Four hours and it's risen this much. That is insane. Okay guys, well, okay guys, well this will probably be one of my last uploads uh, at least probably until midway next week um, until we probably get power back because if it starts flooding in here, which I've tried to barricade the door as much as we can. Now this right here isn't much of anything. On the other side now, I have, or I have wood all the way up to about right here. Uh, stuff towels up in there, uh, put plastic on there. So hopefully it'll keep some of the water out. I just put this here just cause maybe if some of the water leaks through, it'll try to keep it out. But yeah, I barricaded all my doors and everything. So I mean, hopefully I don't lose power or anything. I mean, if it doesn't flood, I mean, that would be amazing. But if it does, I'm gonna turn off power at about, um, what is it, about six inches in the house. You have to turn off all your power just so it doesn't electrocute anything. So I'm gonna turn off all my power and everything um, if it does flood, but if it doesn't, then I will be uploading videos. But yeah, worst case scenario, next time I upload a video is probably gonna be about midway next week. But regardless, just go ahead and follow my Instagram just for updates, just to make sure I'm alive. Um, I'm gonna be safe, I'm not stupid, I'm not gonna drive through any water. Um, if it gets too high in here, like the worst case scenario, then yeah, I'm gonna, I have a, a buddy that on the other side of the neighborhood where I park my car, um, he can go ahead and come pick me up. But yeah, this, this is gonna be a storm to remember for sure.